Welcome to episode 18 of Brawlers. I'm your host, Mike Wayne, and this is for the Contenders Championship. And a military press from Grime. Candy drops him. Look at the strength from someone Grime's size. He really gets it from his much larger twin, the monster. And Griffin, of course, trying to succeed where his partner failed. Uh, of course, I'm talking about Anderson, who uh, tried to become... Uh, uh, he tried to become the winner of the once vacant championship that is up for grabs right now. He didn't do so hot, though. He held in there, though. Just like I assume Griffin will too, because after all, he he surprised even me when I when he became the last one of the last two in a battle royal that was technically designed to stack the deck against him because it had so many top competitors like the monster, the Vega. The superstar, the gangster, you know, Mr. Amazing, of course, who actually beat him. He actually beat Griffin to become the champion of champions. And, of course, Griffin, surprisingly enough, shocking enough, actually knocked out the monster. That, that was amazing. And I'm sure he will surprise me yet again. But could he, could he succeed where his partner failed? We're, we could find out uh, here tonight, today, I guess. And he's got that crutch. Well, now he doesn't. Ooh, he's beating him. He was beating him with that crutch. Got him up against the guardrail. It, it's just amazing how far Griffin has come. And anyone could really win this brawl. Uh, and anyone could have won that battle royal. I mean, with the right, with the right moves, uh, the superstar could have been one of the last two. For Vega, anyone could have been the last two, and anyone could have won that battle royal. And that's the beauty of this, that's the beauty of this show. Anyone could win a brawl. Some of the weakest, some of the weakest and most perceived Losers have gone on to win championships. The superstar, for example, has been a multiple time contender champion and has been a multiple time hardcore champion. <laughs> Ooh, devastating hammer fists to the head from Brian. And an arm drag from Griffin. Uh, Grime is the man with in the white t-shirt and the blue jeans. And uh, Griffin is the man wearing the heart, uh, the uh, heart tight, the tights with the hearts on them, and the white boots. And, you know, especially in a show where anything pretty much goes, anyone can pull out a win just by using foreign objects. Just by using some sort of weapon. <clears throat> I 
This is not technically a hardcore brawl. Those are usually say for hardcore championship brawl. And a spinning wheel kick. What's he going to do with that chair now? Oh. Ooh. He is just, he is assaulting him with that chair. Oh, another devastating shot to the head. And he drags him back into the ring. Griffin not allowing Brian to get whatever he was thinking of getting. What's he going to do here? Oh! And he slammed his head on that announcer's table. Speaking of which, ignore those two guys at the announcer's table. I don't know where they came from. Uh, they're apparently just there for decoration. Uh, I am the one true announcer. Those two guys don't matter. Uh, truer words have never been spoken. Just ignore them. They don't matter. Ooh, and he counters. Oh, what is he doing here? Oh, gut wrench power bomb. And what is he doing? Ooh, kick to the face. It wasn't satisfied with one devastating move. He tried for two, and then he tried to do more. It backfired on him, though. You see, you can't be too careful. This, of course, is not your typical... Um, this is not your typical uh, kind of brawl. This brawl is not ten count. It's simply uh, the first guy, the first brawler to knock his opponent out cold. Which means no 10 count, just if your opponent is completely out of it. And so apparently Griffin uh, survived that finisher and that kick to the face. That was, that's impressive. Oh, and he counters into a German suplex. Anything could really happen there. Griffin has the table now. Now Brian has the table. This has become a contest a tug of war contest, which man will end up with the table, uh, which man will permanently end up with the table. Back and forth these men go. Oh, and he finally hits him. Griffin finally hits Grime with the table. Griffin seems uh, undecided about what he wants to do with the table, however. Ooh, now a bit of payback from Ron. And a spinning drop kick from the talented and athletic Griffin. And a kick to the stomach, a soccer ball kick from Ron. And now Griffin's on the run. He's really trying to avoid that chair. You gotta watch out for uh, Griffin. He's really sneaky. He'll do whatever it takes to win a brawl. That's why that's why his uh, partner isn't out here because Anderson has been banned from any brawls that Griffin is in. Griffin has been brawled from 
banned from any brawls that Anderson is in. Because those two cannot be trusted uh, to just let the other win or lose on his own. Ooh, a drop tip. These two men are putting on a clinic. They're fighting like they're fighting like two rabid dogs in there. Which one will come out on top though? That's the big question. Anything can happen in these two Some of the weakest men have gone to become champions, like I said before. And a devastating elbow to the face. What's he planning on here? Ooh, a drop kick to the back through the table in the corner. That's gotta hurt. Oh, and he's going for the gut wrench power up. Oh, and it's counter. And now he's busted open. Oh, springboard blockbuster. Very impressive move right there. You you can't you can't find entertainment like this anywhere else. Well, you could, but, I mean, uh, th this is good entertainment, nonetheless. And he, he tries for another one, and he fails again. Griffin is very impressive right now. Oh, and another springboard blockbuster. And now Griffin tries for his finish one. And he does a super kick instead. That is not Griffin's usual finisher. Of course, anyone who has seen uh, the Battle Royal in which Griffin almost came out on top, uh, he did uh, the, the move he used to knock out. Uh, the move he used to knock out the monster was his finisher. And now he's really assaulting him with that table. And what's he gonna try now? Only oh, he trips over that, those steel steps. This is a very heated contest right now. Both men really giving it their all. Not backing down. Even after taking the beating he's taken, uh, Griffin is still going. And even after being busted open, Ryan is showing no signs of slowing down at all. But it only takes one good move to be knocked out. Ooh. And he does his finisher, Griffin does his finisher on those steel steps. Ooh, and a T-bone suplex onto the steel steps ends it all. Griffin has become the content the new contender champion. Griffin once again shocking uh, me and probably anyone else. Well, uh Stay tuned for the next episode, which will air on Monday.